What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with my trade binder. A lot changed uh, since I went to Grand Prix DC. Traded off a lot of stuff. Then after uh, trading, I kind of made the decision that I wanted to sort of consolidate down um, to just a couple decks, like two or three commander decks, one modern deck, one legacy deck, and the rest of the cards that I have are basically expendable. So, um, I've put a lot of other new stuff in the binder. Um, please check my wants list. It'll be in the description. That's pretty much what I'm really going to be just trading after. Um, so, check that out. Also, stick around for the whole video. There will be a pretty cool card at the end. So, uh, we'll just get into this. Two Cliff Top Retreats. Two Woodland Cemeteries. A playset of Hinterland Harbor. One Isolated Chapel. Shizo Death Storehouse, one Sunken Ruins, one Twilight Mire, two Arid Mesas, a slightly played Scalding Tarn, you can see a little whitening right up top there, uh, Marsh Flats, <clears throat> Bloodstained Mire, Near Mint, Horizon Canopy, Mutavault from 2014, and a Temple Garden, Glen Alondra Archmage and Kira from Modern Masters, a Foil Golgari Signet and a Foil Selesnia Signet, Chalice of the Void from Modern Masters, Foil Doran <coughs> from the Vault, Olivia and Rakdos' Return, <coughs> the uh, promo Emrakul, Aeon's Torn, Vraska, Spiritmonger, Sterling Grove, three Karmic Justice, a Solitary Confinement, two Replenish, uh, Yose the Morning Star, which I pulled from a pack, uh, Privileged Position, Doubling Season, which I pulled from a pack. Omnath in SP condition. The Privilege Position is also SP. There might be some others that are SP. Just uh, when you let me know what you want, I'll double check and give you an accurate um, description. Uh, Crater of Behemoth and Enchantress's Presence. Oath of Druids, Genesis, uh, Bitter Blossom, Foil, Game Day, Killing Wave. Reanimate, Oversold Cemetery. Two Soul Rings from Commander 2013. Uh, Elspeth, Sun's Champion, Legion's Initiative, Foil, Sin Collector, Metamai, Imposing Sovereign, Fire Drinker, Seder, Boon Seder. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, two Aether Vials from Modern Masters. One True Name Nemesis and one Baleful Strix from the uh, new Commander. A uh, playset of Leyline of Sanctity. Two Voice of Resurgence. Um, I'll double check this one. I'm probably going to go with SP. It has a slight white nick right up at the top. But I pulled it from a pack. That's how it came. Which is kind of lame. Uh, Baneslayer Angel. Wiltleaf Liege. I think that's SP. Yeah. Uh, Kitchen Finks. Dryad Arbor. Uh, two Eternal Witness from Modern Masters. The Kitchen Finks also from Modern Masters. A playset of Knight of the Reliquary from Conflux. Playset of Luxodon Smiter. A playset of Noble Hierarch from Conflux. Then I have a Foil Hallowed Fountain, Foil Blood Crypt, Foil Steam Vents, Foil Sacred Foundry. These are all from the new sets. Uh, foil Watery Grave, Foil Breeding Pool. Mana Reflection, uh, Mephidros Vampire, uh, Curse Catcher, Spectral Procession, Mana Morphos, Serum Visions, Gas Lord, uh, this Deuce of Calamity, Careful Study times two, a Momir Vig, Simic Visionary, and Meddling Mage, Price of Progress, Paradise Mantle, uh, slightly played Chandra Nalar from M11, slightly played Nicobolus from M13, uh, Mishra's Factory from 4th, Cauldron of Souls, um, and then with these fast lands, I really just would like to trade them as playsets. Uh, so I have a playset of Razor Verge Thickets, a playset of Dark Slick Shores, and a playset of Seachrome Coasts, and that is it for the binder. Alright, moving on, um, I wanted to go over this. I have two Mind Seize decks here. Um, both are missing the True Name Nemesis, the Soul Rings, the Baleful Strix. 
Um, of course, you saw in the binder, the two soul rings are in there. One Nemesis and one Strix was in the binder. Uh, the other ones I already sold off. Um, and then a Jaleva is missing from one of them. So, um, if you're after any of the other cards from the Mind Seize decks, I've got them in here. You know, Thrax and Wonder and all the other cool stuff that came in there. Then I also have for trade, um, I used to play a Xur the Enchanter EDH deck. I don't play it anymore. Um, so, these are just some of the cards that were from the deck. So, I got a Xur the Enchanter, a Daybreak Coronet... Uh, slightly played Absorb, slightly played Undermine, Tarnished Citadel, Temple of the False God, Teleria West, Mephalia Drownyard, uh, Rain Academy Chancellor, Enslave, Seal of Cleansing, Battle Mastery, Steel Enchantment, um, Ferial Armor, Zorius Signet, Counter Squall, Vanishing, Esper Charm, Steal the Godhead, Arcane Sanctum, Dromar's Charm, Return to Dust. Ivory Tower, Hindering Light, Library of Lang, Retether, Halimar Depths, Urtai the Corrupted, Solitary Confinement, Punish Ignorance, Attacar Wastes from 6th, Bruna, Hannah Ships Navigator, SP, Seal of Doom, Capsize, Ponder, Counterspell, Ristic Study, Diplomatic Immunity, Dark Banishing, Disrupt, Dissipate. So that was some of the stuff that was in there at one point in time. So all that's up for trade. Finally, the last card that I was talking about that is up for trade is basically a pretty much mint condition uh, Bayou from Unlimited. Uh, this thing is beautiful. <laughs> it's in one of the perfect fit sleeves. I took it out of the other like stuff, the other sleeve, the deck protect or the uh, top loader. But, um, you know, if you need another video, like a private video done where it's out of the sleeve and, you know, really up close and personal, I can do that. But, um, you know, I don't really have a need for this. I've, <clears throat> since I already got my 40, uh, you know, dual lands, this is just like just an extra. So, um, this is up for trade. Really just looking to trade this off for some specific cards for my wants list. But, um, if you're interested in a uh, near mint plus um, unlimited bayou uh, let me know so thanks for watching and i will catch you all later